Okay, everyone, we're going to do some cross country today. We're going to start with the log, then over the double, around the big tree, and back down the hill. Take it easy. This isn't a race. One at a time. Don't start the course until the other rider has finished the combo. Okay, Veronica, go ahead. Um, Max, what do you want me and Patch to do? Same thing, Lisa. But those are really big jumps. You're ready for them. Trust me. Okay, Stevie, go ahead. Hey, jockey girl, slow it down. You're next, Lisa. You can do it. You're gonna love it, Lisa. Good boy, Comanche. Okay. Go, Lisa. Join the jumping class. You've got real talent. You did it. Thanks, Patch. Mum, I had the best day. Max let me do the cross country course. That's I'd, wonderful, but I've never learned to jump before. I was so scared. But it was not a big deal. I mean, it was still a huge deal. I need to talk to you about something. Is something wrong? That's what I'd like to know. I found this in your room. Uh -oh. I was gonna talk to you about that, Mum. Really, I was. But I was late for my lesson. Schoolwork comes before horses, Lisa. I thought you understood that. But... No buts. We're going home. We've got a lot to talk about, young lady. This isn't like you, Lisa. Your geography teacher said if you don't get an A for your next project, you'll fail the course. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry. Well, sorry isn't good enough. Your grades are slipping. You, you hardly practice your clarinet anymore. I'll work really hard on my geography project. I'll pass. I promise. You're going to have to do much more than pass. Now, your father and I have discussed this, and we've decided that next term, we're going to send you to Wentworth Academy. Ah, move it or lose it. You haven't even groomed Cobalt yet. Why do you even have a horse if you never spend any time with him? If you're so worried about him, why don't you take care of him yourself? Fine, I will. If you really want to have fun, when you're done playing stable hand, I'll let you shine my boots. <laughs> you wonder why she's an only child.
We're going shopping. Anything you want? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about... about Wentworth. I know it's a good school and everything. One of the best in the country. Right. But I want to stay here with Stevie and Carol and Pine Hollow. Well, you can see them on the weekend. And Wentworth has wonderful stables. Look. It's great, but... No buts, Lisa. The only way you are not going to Wentworth is if your grades improve drastically. Now, Melanie and I will be back in an hour, and I want to see some improvement on that geography project when I get back, all right? Christy, I'd meet her at the mall. The mall can wait. You've got dozens of expensive riding outfits, and I hardly ever see you use any of them. But, Mum... Veronica, your father and I pay a lot of money to keep that horse. All I'm asking is that you take an interest and exercise, Cobalt. I told you. Cobalt's fine. I've got someone looking after him. Do you mean Carol? Cobalt looks wonderful. Carol's so graceful on him. I know. She looks like she was born to ride that horse. <sighs> Get off my horse! You said I could ride him. I changed my mind. Stay away from Cobalt. He's mine. <laughs> supposed to be here. We're going to solve all your problems. Mom, your parents won't send you away if you pull up your grades, right? I guess. Well, we're gonna help you get an A. How? By making muffins? Nope. By making the best project in the history of Willow Creek. A model of Mount Everest. Are you forgetting something? Huh? Oh, right. I was just looking for that. I thought you might be. After all, I know you'd never leave Cobalt hot and sweaty after a workout like that. Not without a good grooming. But what about Red? He's supposed to help me. It's his job. It's part of his job, Veronica. The other part is helping me out with chores around the stables. But... My stable hands aren't here just to take care of your horse. If you won't let Carol help you with Cobalt, and I expect to see you around here more often. More often? I'm already here twice a week for my lessons. And Cobalt's here seven days a week. <sighs> You're right, Max. You know, I guess I was just worried that poor Cobalt would miss Red. Our fourth problem. Well, don't worry. With all the time you'll be spending with Cobalt, you'll forget all about Red. What's wrong? Max is making me take care of Cobalt. Where's it's red. That's exactly what I said. You know, my parents pay a lot of money to keep Cobalt at Pine Hollow, and all I'm asking is that the stable hands take a little interest. No, I mean, where's red? I need to talk to him. I don't know, why? Look, two tickets to the Cram concert. What? Those are impossible to get. Even I couldn't get them. Yeah, well, you didn't camp out all night in line. It was cold and disgusting, but it was totally worth it. I got front row seats. So, of course, they came right over here to ask. I'd love to go. Red, if he'd come with me. Oh, Red. Sure. It's his favourite band. He has to say yes. Wish me luck. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Probably studying. She's not here. No. She isn't. I bet you I know where she is. 
So do I. Lisa's in trouble. What's going on? We're just taking a break. Carol and Stevie were helping me with my geography project. How? By reading horse magazines? No, by making the best model ever. Lisa's gonna get an A on her Nepal project. No problem. I hope it wasn't in the oven. must have baked it too long. Would you mind leaving us alone, please, girls? If you spent as much time on your geography project as you did with those girls, you'd be finished by now. They were only trying to help. You don't seem to understand the importance of good grades, but you soon will. What do you mean? We're not sending you to Wentworth next term after all. Really? That's great! Oh, we can't wait any longer. We're sending you to Wentworth Academy next week. You can't leave next week. Do I have a choice? You can come live with me. Thanks, but I don't think your dad would like that. There's got to be some way to make your parents change their minds. Did you try talking to your mom? Trust me, it wouldn't work. I'm going to Wentworth whether I like it or not. Poor Cobalt. You miss me as much as I miss you. If you're waiting for an answer, you're weirder than I thought. I told you to stay away from him. I just came to see if he was okay, since no one's taking care of him. Oh, really? He looks pretty good to me. I guess you're not the only one who can take care of a horse. So, if you don't mind... Ah, uh, look. Don't touch. Got it, Carol? Got it. doing here. My parents will freak when they get home. Don't worry. We just wanted to drop this off. We figured, since you can't stay at Pine Hollow, we'd give a little bit of Pine Hollow to you. What's this? A lock of Patches, man. <sighs> That's not all. Here's a picture of us with Sky Ransom. And... Some straw from Starlight Stall. And my famous chocolate chip muffins. You can use those to keep those Wentworth girls in line. You guys are the best. I'm gonna miss you a lot. We're never gonna find another friend like you. Why are you guys crying? You're not leaving Pine Holler. You are. We can't have the saddle club without you. I can't believe I'm really going. What are we gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Red. I was looking everywhere for you the other day. I had the day off. Could you move over a little? So did you hear about the Cram concert? Yeah, I heard they sold out in like 10 minutes. People camped outside all night just for tickets and couldn't even get a seat in the back row. <clears throat> Maybe some people couldn't get tickets. What a bunch of geeks. What? I mean, Crown was cool a few months ago, but now they're in every commercial you see. Talk about selling out. <laughs> Pretty lame, huh? Mm. Oh, totally uh, lame. I just knew you would think it was funny too. I mean, all those people camping out for... For such a loser band. <laughs> mm. 
Mum, we have to talk. If it's about Wentworth, we called them this morning and your room is ready and waiting for you. I'm not... I'm not going. What? Well, of, of course you are. Didn't you just hear what I said? Yes, but... but... I don't think you heard me. I don't want to go to Wentworth. I belong here with Stevie and Carol at Pine Hollow. I don't like your tone, young lady. Well, I don't like being told that I have to leave Pine Hollow and I don't want to go to boarding school and you can't make me... Thanks, Patch. If you can see how much I love this place, then why can't my parents... Hey, Melody, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Lisa. She had a big fight with Mum, and then she ran off. Doesn't sound like Lisa. Yeah, I know. She's been acting really weird since Mum told her she had to go to Wentworth. Hey, that tickle, stop it. I see. So, if you see her, could you tell my Mum? Mm -hmm. All right, Ashley, time's ready to go. I think I can save your Mum some worry. I've got a pretty good idea where your sister is. Excuse me. Mrs. Atwood, what can I do for you? Have you seen Lisa? No, I haven't. Is there a problem? Yes, there's a problem. Lisa's never spoken to me like the way she did today. She ran out of the house upset. She must be here. She's always here. She is here. She's out in the riding ring. I think she's saying goodbye to a friend of hers. What's got into Lisa lately? She seems she's such a sweet girl. Wow, is that Lisa? God bless you. spoken to you like that or run away I'm sorry mrs. Atwood please don't make her go we want Lisa to stay here with us you said you wanted her to learn poise and confidence but she already has that's true when Lisa first came to Pine Hollow she'd never have the confidence to jump like that Wentworth Academy isn't supposed to be a punishment your father and I are just concerned about your priorities I know you're right I shouldn't be putting writing before homework. I'll study harder, I promise. But I can do that without leaving. Please. Well, you said yourself that Wentworth was a good school with wonderful stables. No, you said that. I just agreed. I've learned more at Pine Hollow than I could ever learn at any boarding school. You didn't want to take writing lessons here either, and now I can't tear you away. Exactly. I totally belong here. I'll be miserable at Wentworth. We only want what's best for you. You'll make new friends, honey. Not like Stevie and Carol. They're my best friends. They're always there for me, no matter what. Well, can she stay? Okay. All right. Yes. On two conditions. Anything. One, that you get your marks back up. No problem. Carol and I will help her study. Make that three conditions. That Stevie and Carol will definitely not be helping you with your homework. And what's the third condition? That from now on you tell me how you're really feeling. 
okay? And you'll really listen? Deal. Deal. <laughs> Let's celebrate. How? Right. Ew! Gross! Tell me something I don't know. I hate washing Kerbal's brushes. So, are you and Red going to the concert? What? Oh, cram. Please. <laughs> They're so last month. Then why did you camp out all night for tickets? You believe me? I was joking. My uh, parents got them for me. Pretty lame, huh? Yeah. Still, it's pretty silly not to use them. Well, it might be fun. You know, making fun of all the losers who like the band. And the lead singer is kind of hot. OK, let's go. Now? I can't. Veronica, we have to get ready. And you know how long that takes. I know, but Max is totally watching me. I have to ride Cobalt. So? Get Carol to do it. I told her not to touch him. Do you want to come or not? I'll be right back. Good news, Carol. I've decided to let you look after Cobalt for me. Really? Wait. You can't just treat Kara like that and expect her to come around and back. Stevie. No, Stevie's right. What's in it for Carol? She gets to ride Cobalt. And? And groom him? And? I don't know. Whatever. I've got to go. So you're saying that Carol can ride Cobalt anytime she wants? And hang out with him? And take him on hacks? Yeah, yeah, OK, fine. And you promise to never, ever kick me off Cobalt ever again. Do you guys practice this Three Musketeers thing? It's so annoying. Melanie, what are you doing? I'm going to learn how to jump. What? Mum's signing me up for lessons, and Ashley's going to help me tackle Pepper. <laughs> Tack up. That's what I said. And Mum said we might even be in the same lesson. Suddenly, when Ort's not looking too bad, huh, Lisa? Hey, Stevie, you're up. Let's show him how it's done. Nice job, Carol. You must have an excellent jumping coach. Yeah, except he's a humongous ego. <laughs> Great. Put me right after Carol. No pressure there or anything. Good luck, Stevie. Dad, stop it. You're totally embarrassing me. That's what dads are for. Check the manual. Dr. Judy, I didn't know you were coming. I was just checking on Delilah. So is she okay? Yes, fine. Routine exam. Looks like you've got a friend for life. Must keep you busy. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much live at the barn. Well, I wouldn't expect anything less from my assistant. What? Your work study's been approved. For the next two weeks, you're a vet in training. 
Sam's good. Slow down, Veronica. <coughs> I said slow down. <coughs> Never want to see a stunt like that again, Veronica. I didn't mean to approach so fast, Max. It's a miracle you didn't break your neck. Or cobalts. Are we clear? Yeah. Call him out. He totally freaked on you. Don't worry. I can handle Max. <laughs> Hey, congratulations. The next Dr. Hanson, huh? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> ah, look what I dug up today. Come on. Now you have to go into the barn and stay there till you're better. Carol? I have to get dinner started. You ready for your first day, Carol? I can't wait. After seeing my mom take care of animals, it's like... I already know the job. You're so lucky. You get to spend all day taking care of puppies and kittens. Trust me, they're not so cute when they're throwing up all over you. <laughs> Ready to hit the road, Carol? You bet. Good luck. Break a... Actually, don't break anything. Fix something. <laughs> <laughs> Who's our first patient? You're looking at him. Right. I want you to climb in there with Norton and hold him still for me. Norton doesn't look like he wants any company. Dr. Judy Barker.
You've got a nice rhythm there, Sam. Keep that going. Pepper will try to race towards the jump. Your job is to hold him steady. What's he doing? I hope you don't mind sharing your lesson. Sam was sick last week, and this is the only time we could schedule a makeup. I don't mind. It's just that my parents will be a little upset, you know, paying for a private lesson. Well, no problem. We'll make this a group lesson. Good, Sam. Sam the man, excellent work. You felt Pepper rushing and you steadied him right back. Way to go. Good boy, Pepper. Okay, Veronica. I guess you're ready. Steady, Veronica. Pull him back. Bring him to a walk, now. That was a mess. Jumping isn't about racing towards a fence, closing your eyes and hoping you'll crash through it. Colbert's a terrific jumper. All you have to do is take your time, set him up properly, and he'll do the rest. Sam, let's see you do the combo one more time. Watch the way he steadies Pepper. This isn't a race. You do this every day? <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Are you sure? Your mum was one of the best vets I've ever seen. It's in your blood. <laughs> Dr Judy Barker. Hey, Max says you and Pepper looked great out there today. Don't tell me, tell Pepper. He was amazing. Yeah, for an ancient horse. It's probably better, though. You couldn't handle a horse like Cobalt. So did Max say anything about me? Yeah, actually, something about you needing to slow down and think about what you're doing. <laughs> you think that's funny? Yes. Oh, I mean, no. Well, you know what I think is funny? Watching you bump around the course on that flea bag. Pepper's not a flea bag. And I'm a good jumper, Max says. Max says. Well, I say Cobalt and I could outjump you any day. Prove it. Fine. We'll have a jump off. Thursday, six o'clock. Fine. Fine. Major news. There's a jump off at Pine Hollow. Yeah, and Sam's challenged Veronica. Good for Sam. He probably can't win, though. Not while Veronica's got Cobalt. Right. Wow. Look at you. What were you doing? Wrestling alligators? I think that's tomorrow. I'm so tired. I mean, it's great being around animals all day. But... Come on, Carol. Spill. Well, I've always wanted to be a vet. And what if I really suck at it? It's only your first day. Yeah, you can't expect to be a pro right away. First day on the job. How was it? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. I'm so proud of you. You've always known what you wanted and gone after it. I guess. There's something I've been wanting to give you for quite some time. It was your mom's. Your grandmother gave it to her when she graduated. She took it with her everywhere. I'll probably just wreck it. Well, she wanted you to have it. You might as well just keep it because I'm not going to be a vet. Oh, 700 hours. 
Rise and shine. Don't want to be late for work now, do you? I told you, I don't want to be a vet anymore. I'm not going to work. Ah, that's right. You told me. You didn't tell your boss. Can't you talk to Judy for me? Uh-uh. If you want to quit, you're going to have to do it yourself. Dr. Judy! Where have you been, Carol? You're late. I know, but I have to talk to you. I've given it a lot of thought. We'll have to talk later. Right now, I need you to come on a call with me. That's right. I'd like to order three blue riding jackets and two in hunter green. These are handmade, right? Ah, what are you doing here? Just a second. I'm talking on the phone. What does it look like? No, I said two blue, three green. Yes, I'm sure. Maybe you should try listening. I just thought you might want to practice. What, for the jump off? Please, I could beat Sam with my eyes shut. Yeah, just charge it to the D'Angelo account. I don't know, Max seems to think Sam's good. Really good. Yeah, right. See for yourself. He's out on the jumping course now. I'm sorry I mucked up. She looks so sad. I thought she needed a cuddle. If you're going to be a vet, you'll need to be a bit more realistic. That mare needed stitches. We had to do that first. Time for a cuddle after. Oh, come on. You'll do better next time. No, I won't. I can't do this anymore. I quit. What are you talking about? You're a fine assistant. No, I'm not. Every time I get near an animal, I get kicked or trampled or scratched. I make a lousy vet. I'll never be like you or... This is just not going to work. I'm sorry, Dr. Judy. Carol? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Hey! That's my double oxa. It's salt. Come on, let's get to the mall. I can't. I've got the jump off, remember? This is so immature. I mean, what's the point? So that I can wipe that stupid grin off Sam's face. Who cares? Why are you wasting your time with him? Christy, he laughed at me. He's trying to humiliate me in front of everyone. I can't believe you're so obsessed with this jump off. You won't even go shopping. I'm not obsessed. I'm just practicing. I guess I could practice too. I mean, with horses, not salt. Hey, Starlight. I miss you. Hope your day was better than mine. Christy, what are you doing? Um, Bark's being used in a lesson. Do you want to help me with Delilah? Did Max say you could ride her? Since when do I have to ask? Max lets me ride her all the time. Sorry, no can do. Dr. Baker would be here to give Delilah a checkup. Until then, Delilah's on vacation. Come on, Red. I won't tell anyone. Max's orders. Great. Now what am I supposed to do? <sighs> we could always use a hand mucking our stalls. Shouldn't you be forcing cough syrup down some dog's throat? Not anymore. I quit. What, what happened? Nothing. It's just I changed my mind. But that's what work studies are for, right? To see if you're cut out for the job or not. Well, cheer up. At least you get to see Veronica be totally humiliated. What are you talking about? You'll see.
beat 58 seconds. No problem. Cobalt can do this in his sleep. Cobalt's moving so stiffly. She probably didn't even warm him up. Winning. You better hope she knocks the rail down. She's going way too fast. What is she doing? Slow down, pull him up! fix you up. Is he gonna be all right, Daddy? Forget about the horse for now. Just get that arm x-rayed, okay? I want to stay with you. No, no, him. I need some good hands for Veronica. Let your Come father on. take care of it, sweetie. Well, it's a bad fracture. But you can fix it, right? Sometimes a horse's bones can be set like a human's. The cobalt's fractured his sesamoid and his pastern. Which means what? Oh, they're the bones in the fetlock. Break them and they almost never heal. But they might. It's up to Mr. D'Angelo, Carol. What sort of odds are we looking at? Well, even if by some miracle the bones did heal, he'd always be in pain. Your recommendation? That's it, then. No! He won't feel anything, Carol. <laughs> you can't. There has to be something else we can do. Carol, this is hard enough for Cobalt. He's in a lot of pain, and you're only making it worse. <gasps> you can save him. <gasps> Keeping him alive doesn't mean anything if he's going to be in pain, Carol. Imagine what it would be like for a strong, healthy animal like Cobalt to live out his days standing around in a stool. But he'd be alive. A horse like Cobalt it will break his heart never to be able to run free again. What kind of vet are you? You're supposed to save animals, not kill them. Carol, I need you to calm down. Let's try to make these last few moments as pleasant as possible for him. beautiful horse in the world. We're never going to forget you, Cobalt. Easy, boy. <laughs> 